gate swings around the turn, and there they go for the first heat of the Adios. They're off and pacing, going for the lead. Storm damage on the outside. J.D.'s Buck is second. Trenton Time on the outside third. Taylor B. fourth at the rail. Bruce Kimball is fifth. Justin passing sixth at the rail. Racing seventh, Royce. Eighth at the rail, Stone Racer. Treading the field, Fundamentalist. As the race around the turn, going to the first quarter. Hit storm damage with the lead. J.D.'s Buck second. Trenton Time on the outside. Past the quarter in 28 and one. Into this track, passing us into the first time. Tyler B. edges to the outside fourth. Riz Kimball fifth. Here comes Justin Passing on the move on the outside with Tyler B. Royce goes to the outside. Stone Racer is eighth. Fundamentalist trails the field as they race around the turn. Going to the halfway mark. Ostride Royce as they race over to the halfway mark in 56 and 4. That second quarter in 28 and 3, that equals the fastest first half ever in the Adios. As they race down the back stretch, hit storm damage by a length and a quarter. JT's back right there, second. Tyler B on the outside, third. Trenton time is fourth. Justin passing on the outside, fifth. Bruce Kimball, sixth at the rail. Stone Racer is seventh. Fundamentalist, eighth. The three quarters in one at 25 and four. A third quarter in 29 seconds. Midway around the final turn. Hit storm damage with the lead. JD's back goes to the outside second. Justin passing on the outside. Tyler B and Trent in time as they come to the wire. Hit storm damage with the lead. JD's back and Justin passing. But it's storm damage. Draw you away at the rail and the are. Mile in one, a 54 and one, a track record at the Meadows. And racing fans, look at that timer. The second fastest mile in the history of harness racing on a 5 8 mile track by a three year old. In behind the gate, the gate swings around the turn, and there they go for the second heat of the Adios. They're up and facing, going for the lead. Storm damage at the rail. JT's butt on the outside, second. Royce racing third at the rail. Trenton time on the outside, fourth. Justin passing is fifth. Tyler B drops in sixth. Stone Racer is seventh. Hate that the rail. Bruce Kimball treading the field. Fundamentalist as the race around the turn. JD's buck under the urging of Jim Miller up on the outside. Past the quarter. 27 and 2 into the stretch. Storm damage is right back out on the outside with Joe O'Brien to regain the lead. JD's back second. Here comes Billy Helton and Trenton time. On the move on the outside third. Race fourth at the rail. Justin passing and Tyler B on the outside. Stone Racer seventh. Bruce Kimball eighth. Fundamentalist on the outside. As they race over to the halfway mark. The half in 55 and four. The fastest half mile ever in the Adios. As they race to the back stretch. Storm damage has the lead. J.D.'s back is second. Trenton time parked on the outside third. Royce fourth at the rail. Justin passing on the outside fifth. Stone Racer is sixth. Tyler B. seventh. Fundamentalist eighth. Bruce Kimball trails the field at the three-quarter mark. One, 24 and four. The fastest three-quarters ever in the Adios. Midway around the turn. And storm damage and Joe O'Brien opening up now by four lengths. They've got an eighth of a mile to pace on the outside. Justin passing. JD's back and Tyler B. It's storm damage and Joe O'Brien. Justin passing second. It's storm damage and Joe O'Brien by himself. 153, two fifths. The fastest mile ever on a 5 8 mile track. Shattering the world's record.
From the extreme outside, that's Redskin hustling out in between horses Shannon Brooks along with Mike's Masquerade. Toward the inside, it's Maximilian Hanover and at the rail, Tigger's Star. They move into the first turn. Maximilian Hanover is there. Here comes Masquerade moving up to the outside second. Tigger's Star in at the rail away third. Shannon Brooks gaining to the outside from fourth. Then it's Crimson. Here comes Redskin off the rail and moving up. And it's Comstock Commando Z28 farther back to Really Awesome. Cullen Hanover has come away pacing in 10th position. He's off the rail and moving up. And the trailer is Monitor. The first quarter, 28-2. Quick action now as they move down the back stretch. Shannon Brooks from the outside, moving up three wide. There goes Redskin with a big brush. Redskin on the move now to take charge. Back in the pocket is Shannon Brooks. Here comes Z28, gaining to the outside from third. Back in fourth position is Mike's Masquerade. Maximilian Hanover parked out in fifth. And to the outside, it's Tigger's Star toward the inside, Crimson. Cullen Hanover is there to the outside, still about eight lengths off the lead. Then it's Comstock Commando, Monitor, and really awesome is the trailer. The halftime, 57-4. and four. They're on to the far turn, and here's Redskin up to take charge. Redskin, the new leader. Z28 is back to second. Maximilian Hanover parked out third. In at the rail is Shannon Brooks in the fourth position. Tigger Star with cover. Still about three and a half lengths off the lead. Cullen Hanover is racing third over. He still has about five lengths to make up. Redskin, the leader at the three quarters. Three quarters up in one, 27 and four. They're into the stretch. William O'Donnell clear with Redskin by two. Z28 gives chase second. Here comes Tigger Star to the outside third. Shannon Brooks is there in between horses, but as they come to the final 16th, Redskin with the lead. Z28 is second. It's all Redskin here drawing off at the wire. Clear by three. They're off. Headline Elmerhurst is out fast. Big Town Dude toward the inside. At the rail, it's Mike's Masquerade. Those three matching strides as they head to the turn. Big Town Dude now emerges with the lead. Mike's Masquerade second. Headline Elmerhurst parked out and moving up third. Redskin has come away pacing in fourth position. Farther back to Maximilian Hanover. Then it's Nightbeat and two to the trailer Savage Breeze. They move to the first quarter and up on the outside, headline Elmerhurst with the lead. They open the mile in 28 and 2. They're on to the back stretch and headline Elmerhurst leads the way. Mike's Masquerade is off the rail and moving up with a quick brush. Mike's Masquerade down to the front. Headline Elmerhurst is second. Big Town Dude back to third. A gap of two to Redskin in the fourth position. Maximilian Hanover is fifth. Then we move farther back to Nightbeat and Savage Breeze is seventh and trailing. They make their way to the half mile. Mike's Masquerade with the lead, but Redskin now with a quick burst of speed up to take charge. Redskin, the leader by the half in 58 and 1. On to the far turn, and Redskin now controls the pace. Here's Maximilian Hanover up to offer a challenge second. Back at the rail is Mike's Masquerade third. Nightbeat has picked up cover. He's within two lengths of the lead. Savage Breeze has moved into the outside flow. Headline Elmerhurst is now dropping back on the inside, and Big Town Dude is the trailer. They near the three quarters, and it's Redskin on top by three parts of a length. Maximilian Hanover parked out second. Mike's Masquerade is in the pocket third. Nightbeat poised for the stretch drive second over. Three-quarter time, one, 27 and three. Into the lane, it's Redskin on top by just a length. Maximilian Hanover second. Mike's Masquerade needs racing room on the inside and a late bit on the outside from Savage Breeze. Redskin is still there now by two. On the inside, Mike's Masquerade, a late bit from Savage Breeze, but it's Redskin first under the wire. Number eight, bred and leased by Jerry Smith of Duwajiak, Michigan. He recorded the fastest mile last week in winning one of the elimination events. He was also a division winner of the Tompkins Gears and is the top money winner in the field with earnings in excess of $284,000. Trained by Jerry Smith and handled this evening by William O'Donnell, leaving from post 10, number eight, is red and skin. ladies and gentlemen that is the prestigious field for this evening's 1986 edition of the governor's cup your post time in five minutes and
Here they come. And they're off. Redskin fires out from the outside. All's great in between horses with Sultan Lobel. And Newcomb rushes up to the rail. As they hit the first turn, Redskin is parked three wide. All's great driving hard in between horses. And Newcomb is there at the rail. Q-Light has come away fourth. Moving up to the outside, Nuclear Weapon parked out there fifth. In between horses, Sultan Lobel is sixth. Marvel at the rail in the seventh position. The Ladies Adam has come away eighth. Maximilian Hanover driving up three wide from ninth. Metal Branch Bread is tenth. Savage Breeze eleventh. And Jeremy Lobel is twelfth and trailing as they go by the first quarter in 29 and 1. They're up the back stretch, and Redskin has now reached the lead. All's Great is right there at the rail, second. Nuclear Weapon parked out there, third. Newcomb a close-up, fourth. Up to the outside, Sultan Lobel is fifth. Farther back to Q-Light, into the outside flow of the ladies, Adam. Still parked three wide as Maximilian Hanover. Then it's Marvel, Meadow Branch, Brett, Jeremy Lobel, and Savage Breeze as they wheel by the half-mile Redskin with the lead. Halfway home in 57-4. and four. Onto the far turn, Redskin on the inside, nuclear weapon to the outside. Those two going at it now as they move to the far turn. All's great just behind the leaders is third. Here's Sultan Lobel now into contention, just about two lengths off the lead. Newcomb a close-up fifth at the rail. They move to the three quarters, and Redskin now inching clear by a length. Nuclear weapon cannot stay with them. Sultan Lobel ranging up three wide. They're off the three quarters in one, 26 and one. Redskin with the lead as they turn for home on top by two. Here comes Sultan Lobel, second, moving in between horses is all's great. They come to the final eighth. Redskin with a short lead. Sultan Lobel on the outside. All's great in between horses, and here's Newcomb. It's Redskin with a short lead. Sultan Lobel surging now. Redskin hooked up with Sultan Lobel. This one's gonna be close. Q-Light, it's Redskin winning the Governor's Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, as we await the result of the place photograph, moving into the winner's circle, still the unofficial winner of the Governor's Cup, that's number eight, Redskin. Redskin is a two-year-old chestnut colt by storm damage out of goodest by best of all. He is owned and trained by Jerry Smith of Duwajiak, Michigan, and driven to victory by William O'Donnell. And that is his second straight Governor's Cup victory. Winning last year's Governor's Cup with Barberry Spur, he takes the 1986 edition with Red Skin. The time of the mile, a flat one minute, 55 seconds, and that is a new lifetime mark for Red Skin. the Honorable Richard J. Hughes. And he is presenting the Governor's Cup trophy to winning driver William O'Donnell and the winning owner and trainer, Jerry Smith. Congratulations.